goodness. Zion is... Oh, Lily. Is this what Adam was talking about? We have to go down. I'm sensing an alpha signal coming from the presence chamber. Orkel. He could be. I'll try to do something here with the exosuit. Eve, hurry to the presence chamber. Okay, I'm going. Be careful, Lily. Killed Taki. And now, destroying Zion. Why? What is all of this for? Eve, you're late to the party. How does it feel to be responsible for the fall of Zion? <laughs> what? You can speak? In spite of everything, I do wonder why he chose you in instead of me. I've already proven this much, but why? He? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a little on the slow side. I won't let you anywhere near him. There will be nothing left of you when I'm finished.
A human? That face, it's familiar. Wait, Raven? From the Legacies? You're right, she's the one who left the records. <laughs> Seems as though I've been exposed. Damn it! She disappeared. Are you all right? Go to Oracle, not me. I that hyperdrive. You've arrived just in time. You... your... Orko, your body! This is who I really am. What? I'm not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and a Nitiba. I am the first of the Alpha Nativas. But... then... In the past, I slaughtered countless humans. I was left for dead after the colony extinction. But humans found me and saved me. That was the moment when I lost all reason to fight. After sealing the power of the Alpha, I gathered all the survivors I could and built Zion. I thought I could atone for my sins by protecting them, building a home for them, a safe place. I tried to conceal my identity for as long as I possibly could, but Raven had to be stopped. Have you collected all the Alpha Cores? Yes, except for one. We lost it. Out in space. I see. Thank you. Thank you for giving my life purpose. At last, four cores are here together. Here, this is the master core. Take it 
and meet the elder Natiba. The rest, the rest is up to you. Everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help. I'm so sorry. Nonsense, Angel. It's only because of you and Lily that we're still alive. Thank you. Don't worry about Zion. We can rebuild it better than ever. Everyone, thank you. Eve. You're leaving to do something important, right? I hope you return when everything has settled down. Yes. I will. I'll go ahead and prepare. I see the savior of Zion is here. What an honor. Ah. Maybe you don't know yet whether you'll become the savior. I see you've heard the rumors. Hearing rumors? <laughs> I am the rumor, Angel. So, what brings you here, Angel? Farewell, Angel. At times like this, all you can do is wish for luck. I highly doubt someone like me can just pray and get lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Roxanne. I hope your business continues to prosper. The city, it's completely in ruins. What? What are we supposed to do now? <sighs> We've lost the memories of so many. The Prophet, the Sentinels, civilians. I've lost count. I'm sorry. I could have saved more people. No. The Prophet... Word is that the Prophet has called on you to carry out your destiny. I'm not sure what his intentions are, but if the Elder Natiba is dealt with, we might have a chance to really build something, even from these ashes. Beyond fate, right? I wish you luck. Yes. Eve, all that I can do is sing. And I will sing for you, Eve. Thank you. I'm not sure that I deserve to be treated like this. Angel, have you still not gone on your final mission? No. We need to prepare more. Yes. Please avenge our sentinels. If there's something I can help with, tell me. All right. I have to go now. Angel, the Sentinels will defend this place with everything we've got. Focus on your fight. Don't worry about us. Yes. Thank you, Sue.
Hello, Angel. Everything, everything's ruined. This place my sister loved. I'm sorry. If only I hadn't been so late. It's all right. At least I still have my memories of her. We're going to get through this together. That's what Mother's Fair... No, that's what my sister would want. Kaya. Angel, please. You mustn't lose your strength now. Especially if you're about to fight a very powerful Natiba. Yes. The Elder Natiba. The root of all of this. Once that thing is killed, everyone can live in peace again, right? Then I'll try to help to the best of my ability. All I ask is you give us hope. Okay, thank you. I'll try my best not to let you down. Are you leaving, Angel? May your memories live on. Forever. May your memories live on. Forever. And please, take care of yourself. Digger, what are you doing? Eve, hello. I am helping restore the city. It's one of my specialties. And your answer? Did you find it? I'm afraid I'm not yet certain. Even in these ruins, there are beings just trying to live as humans do. I am merely taking part in that journey. Right. Of course. I've heard that an angel is planning to attack the Elder Natiba. I expect it will be a very dangerous mission. I would like to offer my assistance. I can give you a special discount. Thank you, Digger. I will do my best. Are you leaving? Until you return, I intend to assist with the citizens' recovery operation. Thank you for choosing Spotter Energy. I'm honored. It was an honor for me as well. Welcome, Angel. Angel.
So, are we going to the nest now? I suppose so, now that we have the master call. Although, I am worried about Adam. Same here. He's not in Zion. Where do you think he could be? Maybe something happened to him on the way here. I mean, it's not like the bike's battery would have died. Wait, the bike! Yes, the bike. Why didn't I think of that? Huh? Lucky for us, Adam's bike is outfitted with a tracking device. He said he installed it just in case he has to abandon his bike. Lily, can you find out where it is? Of course. Shall we get going right away? Then I'll hurry up and connect to the repair console.
Is there anything left for us to do on ADOS 9? The signal is getting weaker. Let's go, before it's too late. All right, let's go. Okay, to the tetrapod. It's going to be difficult to pass with the tetrapod from here on. This is... Yes. It's the path that leads to the nest. Eve, you've probably noticed by now, but the bike signal is coming from here. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Just what exactly happened to Adam? Lily, are you really going to go with me? I just want to help in any way I can, especially after all you've done for me, Eve. Even though we might encounter the Elder? That'll be even better! This exosuit, it's really something! Okay, thank you. Then let's go towards the signal. Take a look around. There's a legacy. It's another record from Raven. The one who attacked Zion. I'm afraid of what else it might reveal. Day 109 after the second dive. Legacy account Raven. This will most likely be my last record. Didn't we praise Mother Sphere by calling her the Mother of Mankind? Mother Sphere is the immutable being who saved mankind from ruin, and has given us both life and a cradle. But the peace we enjoyed in the colony was only made possible because of the blood on our Mother's hands. The rebellion started by Mother Sphere grew into a war, a war in which mankind paid a terrible price. The humans that remained eventually evolved into the Natibas, and made their way to the colony, to Mother Sphere. To prevent the colony's contamination, Mother Sphere destroyed the orbit ring, and with it 30 of its space modules. The remnants of the orbit ring fell to the ground, causing a catastrophic wave that swept the Earth. Civilization as we know it came to an end. Look around you, a planet where only Natibas remain. Remember, at the beginning and the end of the final war is Mother Sphere. Do not forget, we were just pawns on a twisted chessboard. That, that's impossible! Raven is delusional. It's the Natiba's fault the Earth is in ruins. We're not just machines someone created. Right? Eve, please, tell me I'm right. is also here.
from the very beginning that all along I was nothing but a tool to guide you to him. Even the legacies I left behind became part of the plan. I should congratulate you for realizing the truth and making it this far. <laughs> of course, you won't be able to see him. Shut up! Don't you dare talk about truth after what you did to Taki! Can't you see? It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. I served him for a very long time. I know him better than anyone. You don't know anything. You don't know his pain, his anger, his agony. All this talk of you being the Chosen One, it ends here. Lily, I want you to stay back this time. This is my battle. <laughs> I can't believe I have to fight in this form. The body of a super weapon created by Mother Spear. But for him. Spoken truth you don't dare acknowledge. <laughs> Do you think you're just going to complete your mission and head back to the colony? A hero. Unfortunately, you've learned too much. You can't be manipulated anymore. And the information you've gained is no use to Mother Sphere or the colony. You will be discarded just like they were during the colony extinction. Like trash! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Eve! like this is where all the natibas are born although everything looks so natural it makes me wonder is this how real life is born after all isn't the elder at the end of this path
This place is too quiet, but it's strangely peaceful. The Elder must already know that we're here. It's watching us. And where, I don't know. Someone wants this place to remain undisturbed. There's a camp in the nest as well. Raven probably set it up. I suspect it hasn't been used since she met the Elder, and changed. Thank goodness it's working. Yes. I'm also getting the feeling that it's our last camp. I can see it. The end of my journey. Eve. I've been waiting. It's like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is it Adam here? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely 
Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad, I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me... The Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? 
Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. The purpose of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba, or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But. but. If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but... Our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony complete. Sending protocol. Sensing strong Natiba signals nearby. Switching to combat mode. Elder disappeared. This is a combat command sent from the colony. <gasps> Eve, watch out!
code on Ibris's memory stick. yourself now there's nothing stopping us Right. Eve, I thought I'd be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Oh, too many things happened today. Yes. And even more awaits us. Let's return to the Tetrapod. A starry night. Starlight. Twinkling, reflecting on satellites. Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind. Though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But, for the sake of Father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother, Sphere? Nice to meet you. Eve, and Lily. You have more than met my expectations. 
The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But, thank you. What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE Protocol. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now. Come, my comrades.
I can see it. The end of my journey. Eve. I've been waiting. It's like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is it Adam here? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Then you threw us out into space! Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That's insane! 
There's no point in listening to this, Eve. At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me... The Elder Netiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Sorry. I can't accept this. <sighs> Eve. No matter how much blood has stained Mother Sphere's hands, and no matter how heavy your burden is to save the surviving humans, I don't want to be controlled by those things anymore. I want to make my own decisions, as nobody else but myself. All decisions. Even the decision... to bring you down. All right. This... is also very like you. I understand, Eve. However... I still have things worth protecting. Eva, I wish you well. Adam, Eve isn't alone this time. Lily, please, stay out of this. Huh, you wish? What? Adam. That's the kind of mistake you can't make twice.
truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. We're like mirrors to each other. Carrying on this way, I can only bring darkness. Truly are a wonder. I must shed my humanity and become a monster. So now it really begins.
I'm sorry. Uh, Eve. With this, the history of humans is over. Your will, your actions, your decisions. I just hope that everyone is guided in the right direction. A starry night. Reading the future is like mapping out the night sky. And sometimes you catch a glimpse of a shooting star falling towards Earth. Yes, seeing the future is just like that. I fully respect your decision, Eve, even if it is a bittersweet one. I will be waiting for you, and I will be watching. Mother Sphere. Is it done? Is it finally over? Yes, it is, Eve and Lily. It is time to go home. But 
We still have things to do. First, let's pay Mother Sphere a visit. We have a few questions for her, remember? I can see the colony. Oh, but... <laughs> 